Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, the world of electronics is very interesting, right? We've been tinkering around with Arduino and, you know, various sensors and things like that. And yeah, even though things have fairly clearly defined functions, if you do things a little bit weird, well, you may get strange and unexpected results. One particular concern is when you have two different circuits, but you want one circuit to control the other. Now, these two circuits may have different voltages, or for whatever other reason, you may not want to directly bridge these two circuits. You don't know what kind of havoc one circuit will cause on the other. So how can we use one circuit to control the other while keeping them electrically isolated? For this, one of the components you can use is what is known as an optocoupler. This one is really interesting, even though, well, when it works on paper, you don't really see very much. You see, here's how this works, right? Within your optocoupler, essentially, there are two components. One component is actually an LED light, while the other component is a light sensor. Here's how you set up your optocoupler. If circuit A is supposed to control circuit B, what you'll do is you'll hook up circuit A to the LED portion of the optocoupler. Then you can connect circuit B to the light sensor portion. What happens then is that if circuit A wants to send, you know, a high state, a pulse to circuit B, it switches on the LED. That of course causes the light sensor on the other end to detect that and output accordingly. So yeah, that's super interesting because essentially you are connecting two circuits together using light. Because there is no electricity involved, these two circuits are in electrical isolation. Pretty interesting, huh? That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. I know it's a little bit short, but hopefully it was still interesting and insightful. But yeah, until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.